But as soon as Andy was gone, we did what a lot of you folks would have done. Well, we got a new dog right away. Don't you do that sometimes to fill the void? You do. You go out and you get a new dog right away. And we got a little guy called Mo. M-O-E, Mo. Mo is a Maltese first dog we ever had that was all one thing. Ain't nothing inside of Mo except other Maltesers. He's about this big and he's cuter than a dick. Know what I mean? Just as cute as can be. And Mo only has one ball, but he doesn't know that. And he doesn't act like he's got one ball, cause Mo humps Vern, and Vern is a male cat. <laughs> Did you ever have that shit going on in your yard? <laughs> Not only is it interspecies, it's a homosexual affair as well. The whole neighborhood is just praying there be no children. Cause God knows where you send them to school. But he's out there first thing in the morning, he's humping away, you know? He's got a lot of energy for a guy with one ball. You gotta give him a lot of credit. He's out there humping away. He's trying to get a little, you know? Well, he's trying to get a lot now that I think of it. And what he's really doing is wearing a hole in the fur on the back end of that goddamn cat. And sometimes he's got so much energy, his feet actually leave the ground. And he's airborne on Vern. He's trying to hold on to cat hair with dog paws and keep it in at the same time. And Vern could care less. Vern will give you a look like this while he's getting fucked in the ass. Did you ever fuck somebody who's reading a comic book? Same shit, tough on the ego, isn't it? But it does happen occasionally in life. So, Mo humps Vern, and it looks so cute. I mean, it looks so cute. We took a picture of it and made a Christmas card out of it last year. <laughs> Swearing my mother's tits, made a lovely card. Just put one word on it, peace. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And we spelled it correctly, too. P-E-A-C-E. -E. There'd be no cheap jokes on our Christmas cards. We said that our last year, and shit, we lost a lot of friends on that. So, Mo Huntsburn... <laughs> I'm getting back. So Mo hunts Vern, and Vern's a cat, like I said, and we got two cats at home, Vern and Murphy. And we got them at the same time. Some years ago, they got into our lives the same week or something. And when we first got them, we had them neutered. You know neutered, that's a euphemism for Guan cut his nuts off. <laughs> well, we had it done because somebody said it helped something. Goddamn sure it didn't help these cats, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but we had it done, we had them fixed. That's another word for it. Fixed shit it wasn't even broke, man. <laughs> Oh, they broke now. <laughs> altered is another word for it. Nice people say that, don't they? We had them altered. Like a pair of pants or something. Yeah, take a little off the cuffs and cut his nuts off. <laughs> and I'll be in on Tuesday. Well, whatever you want to call it, we had it done. We brought him into the vet's office and <laughs> off came the nuts. We didn't keep them or nothing like that, you know. Although they do offer them to you, I must say that for them. Say, you want these? They say, nah, nah, shit, what are you, fucking crazy? You keep them, you find something to do with them. Might make a nice pair of earrings for your wife out of them. In fact, if my math is not incorrect, you might get two pairs out of that lot. You keep the nuts, we'll take the cats. We go on home with the cats. Brought them home and they started growing up. Got to be about six years of age. And right about six, Vern, and wouldn't you know too, Vern, the interesting cat. <laughs> Vern developed a condition whereby his penis had to be removed surgically. <laughs> Not a pleasant thought. <laughs> but it happens quite a bit to these male cats if you feed them only dry cat food. Not good. You gotta get some moist food in that diet every day or every other day. You gotta have some balance in the diet because there is something in dry cat food that crystallizes in the urine, blocks the urethra, blocks that whole passageway, and pretty soon you're sitting in the vet's office and guess what? <coughs> Off comes the dick. <laughs> Vern will not get in the car with me at all anymore. <laughs> he doesn't trust me at all because he doesn't know what's coming off next. <laughs> he's walking around counting his feet and shit like that, praying to God he's still got something left hanging off of him. 
Such is the condition of the animals at our house. And because of it, we have a little riddle. A little riddle going around the family. What has 12 legs, two dicks, and one ball? And it's Murphy, Moe, and Vern. But you gotta be real close to the family to guess it on one try. <laughs>